a little bit of dancing, a little bit of hype, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of hype. Let's get it. Dude, why does every time I record a video, I get a goddamn pimple on my face? And why does it have to be right in the middle of my forehead? I was, I was just about to complain how I don't feel special anymore because I got both my braces and my piercing off. And I went from looking like a lesbian towering shaman to looking like a, a, an Indian guy that works at a gas station. Alright, after my last unpopular vlog, I was like, maybe I should just shut the fuck up and actually talk about something that I understand. Although I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this will get a fair amount of dislikes as well. But at least I think people finally understand how much of a piece of shit I am. Because I keep saying that and people are like, <laughs> I love when you joke about being a piece of shit. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not joking though. But anyway, today I'm talking about something that people have been asking me to talk about since forever. And I don't really understand why nobody researches it. Like, if you type how to find your art style in YouTube, you get like a gazillion artists talking about this shit. Like, like how resourceful are you? Jesus Angel, maybe people just wanted to hear your opinion about it because they like you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like I should just share my own experience with the subject because every time I try to give advice to somebody, it kind of backfires. Even though I'm pretty sure I'll still judge everybody, so don't don't even worry about that. Let me fix the hair though. Ooh, we lit. <laughs> Alright, first of all, you have to understand style is developed, it's not found. Even though that's the title of the video, so I, I guess that's clickbait. But you cannot find your art style. It's not like you lost your dog or something like, Hey, style? Where are you, style? Here, good boy. Like that shit is developed through years and years of practice and drawing. You can't just sit down and be like, okay, this is my art style. I draw noses like this, I draw eyes like that. No, this is not fucking mix and match. You can't just choose your art style. So what are you saying, Angel? Where the fuck should I start from then? Well, it, it kind of depends on where you are right now. If you're just starting out, I would advise you to not even worry about style because I hate to break it to you, but you, you probably can't even draw properly. Like if you're still stuck in that kindergarten level with a, with a little house next to the tree and you're still drawing smiles on the sun, like I don't think developing your art style should be your priority. If you listen to my podcast, you know I'm not a big fan of art schools. Actually, I fucking hate them, but they got one thing right. Like you first need to focus on fundamentals and learning how to draw before you act cool and try to find your art style. So how about you stop worrying about whether you're drawing the proper anime eyes and you focus on your drawing actually looking like a goddamn person and not some alien looking motherfucker that's suffering from some weird ass disease. And I love when beginners do that by the way, like, no man, the people that are Joe are not ugly man, that's just my style. Bitch, they look like they just came out of a boxing match and then a dog came and started biting on their face. I mean, maybe you should just focus on anatomy first, that's, that's all I'm saying. Oh baby girl, what you want man? Oh, you wildin', you wildin', you wanna get on the camera, be a pop star. Say something then. Don't be shy. People are watching. Oh, okay, you wanna go. So the first two, three years of your art journey should be you just doing studies, learning perspective, learning anatomy, just learning how to draw. So let's say you've done that and now you're an intermediate and your drawings kinda look like something. And what I see a lot of people do wrong is they try to invent a new style as if they're fucking Picasso or something. Like, bitch, you're not that creative. Just because you're drawing a, a smoking unicorn on the back of all your textbooks in class doesn't mean you're creative, like you can't just invent a new art style, like you need inspiration. So what you do is you gather all the references from all the artists that you like and you start copying them. And I know a lot of people are gonna judge me on this, like, hey man, this is, this is art stealing and you'd be right, don't fucking sue me. <laughs> but I'm not saying you should pose them or something, even, even though I totally did back in the day, but what can I say, man? I'm a piece of shit and I enjoy Instagram likes. But whether you keep them to yourself or you post them, it's not that important. The important thing is that you actually do it so you can see how other people stylize their drawings. Because you can't really develop a style just by drawing realistic portraits from photographs. Like, like you need to combine different things in order to create something new. And by the way, I don't really believe you can steal somebody else's art style because everybody's unique. Like, like as much as you try, like it or not, you're always going to have your personal touch in your drawings. Plus, you won't really be copying from only one person. Like, you'll be copying from everybody. You can always use my line. It's not stealing 
if you're stealing from everybody. That sounds about right. <laughs> so the more you copy other people, the more you're gonna find out how to actually create something unique. But here comes the tricky part. The more your art style becomes different from other people, the more your drawings are gonna look the same. I don't know if that makes sense, but you ever found out an artist that you really like because he's so unique? And at first he was like, oh my god, he's so amazing. But with time, the more you see his artwork, the more it just looks the same. Even though it was unique at first, they're drawing the same eyes, the same hair, the same everything because they're not pushing themselves and you just lose interest in their art. Let's say your unique thing is that everybody that you paint has blue eyes or a ponytail or I don't know, how about all your portraits have glowy colorful lighting on top of them. <coughs> Even if the glow thing got your attention at first, if that's all I did, you'd be like, oh, okay, hey, that's the lesbian looking guy that does the glowing portraits and, and you just lose interest in me. So the same thing that got you successful will be the same thing that brings you down if you don't push yourself and change it. And by the way, there's the other end of the spectrum where you just keep doing different things. You never focus on just one thing and you never get better. Like that's not good either. There's this balance where you just keep drawing similar stuff over and over again, but you keep tweaking different things so you can actually evolve. Like a perfect example of that is one of my favorite artists, Loish. Like if you look at her art from like 3-4 years ago, it still looks like it was painted by her, but it just looks improved. It, it looks like she kept pushing herself with like different colors and different forms and just different everything. By the way, art style is a tricky thing because to some people it might feel like you're actually becoming worse at painting. So, so that's where you just gotta trust your own judgment. Because every time I show Loish art to some of my friends who don't paint, they're like, it, it, it's kind of weird, like, I prefer yours. And I'm just sitting there like, bitch, fuck you mean weird? Like, I'm hoping that in 3-4 years I'll be on her level, and you saying that you don't even like it and you prefer my current chicken scratch? Like, that, that's, that's outrageous. But they can't really appreciate it because they're not even painting. That's why I said style is developed, because with time your eyes and your taste changes. Dude, I can remember looking at Lois art like 2 years ago and I was like, huh. It's kind of good, but realistic drawings are better. And now I look at realistic drawings with details like, no, no, just please, like... <laughs> but that's how it's supposed to be, like, you're not ready for low shit. Like, you can't even draw a house that looks like it's not gonna fall over. So as a summary, first focus on learning how to draw, then secondly, combine art styles that you like and try to develop something yours. And thirdly, never stop pushing yourself and get content with your current art style because you're gonna die. I mean, not literally, of course, but I mean, your your Instagram is gonna die. Which for an attention whore like me, it's, it, it's pretty much the same thing. So moral of the video is, follow me on Instagram, at angelganif. Also, once you're at it, you might as well give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe, share, ring the bell, whatever you have to do to watch more of me. Remember, don't take no shit from nobody, and I'll talk to you next time, bitch. Look at these big ass yellow teeth with gaps between them, man. What the fuck is that shit? Like, I can literally put my dick in there. Like, plus I got a goddamn pimple. It's, it's just not my day, man.